name? Murphy. Roof? Murphy. Mur Murphy. Yeah. I heard that there was a dog. Yeah. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey. Beautiful dog. Sit. Paw. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Alright guys, welcome to another day here in beautiful California. I just woke up, I packed up my things for the day and I'm heading off into the coastal areas again near Malibu. But first things first, I have to go get breakfast. place right now not too far away from here I'm gonna grab some lunch there and uh, then I'll be off on my way I'll, I found a nice hiking spot near Topanga so we'll see how that goes poke is one of the main dishes of native Hawaiian cuisine although I don't get a chance to eat it too often it really is delicious and is a must try for all seafood lovers and would that be all for your bowl yeah that's it okay Perfect. And that outdoor patio is good to eat at, right? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Super excited to eat some fresh poke. I mean, that looks beautiful. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. I haven't had poke since the last time me and Mark were in San Diego. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. And I got some oolong tea for a drink. It's amazing. I got some spicy, spicy mayo on there, some tuna, some crab, some sesame seeds, edamame. I mean, this is amazing. Can't beat a breakfast like this. Hey guys, just, I, I don't know if you can see it through that little sliver in my window, but Topanga Canyon is beautiful. I'm trying to get as much sun as I can right now. That's why I'm headed over to uh, Tuna Canyon to uh, do a little quick hike, see some sights, and uh, continue bumming around the Pacific Coast Highway. I mean, it's amazing out here. Plus, this car is super fun to drive. I've been driven through Topanga just last night. I saw several attractions that caught my attention. So with an open schedule and plenty of time, I pulled off along the side of the road to visit the Great Wall of Topanga. Check this out, guys. This is the Great Wall of Topanga. Me and Leo were driving by here yesterday and it looked pretty cool, but there was like not really a place to stop and there really is no parking. Nice little art exhibit here. It's a busted up guitar. Check this out. I mean, very, uh, very unique, intricate designs. So I did a little bit of reading about the Great Wall of Topanga. It's the brainchild of Rick Denman, a professional bike racer and Topanga resident. Like, that's his territory. Supposedly, he got fed up with all the graffiti that was being tagged up on his wall, so he decided to turn it into an art installation. I hear that Topanga is great for all kinds of like different artsy communities. Like just driving by, there's like people selling shirts and stuff. There's like little antique museums, pottery places. It's a it's a pretty cool vibe here. Anyways, I'm gonna continue driving. Okay, so this road through Topanga Canyon is very insane. I mean, sharp turns, narrow roads, like, I feel like I'm on the coast of Italy somewhere. Man, these houses here, such gorgeous views. I can't imagine how much it costs to live up here. It's insane. And you also need to have a good car that can make the drive. I guess a poor Mustang's good enough, right? I 
just made it to Tuna Canyon Park. It was a very cool drive through Topanga. Twisty turning roads, definitely need to pay attention to the road. The car was a lot of fun, it's like driving a go-kart. Might, might have to get a Mustang later on in my life. But yeah, just parked the car right there and I'm gonna head off on a little hike. Just a couple steps in, already get gorgeous views of the uh, Santa Monica Mountains and the coast in the distance. I think I can see Malibu where me and Leo were yesterday. Yeah, super beautiful. Guys, this is gorgeous. Check this out. You can see the entire Pacific Coast Highway, the houses here in Malibu. LA is somewhere off in the distance that way. It's beautiful. I love it. There's a couple other trails here, so I'm gonna head down this way and check it out. guys almost I made it beautiful this is uh, this is called big rock lateral this is all Tuna Canyon Park. There's about 1,200 acres, about five miles worth of hiking trails. It's really beautiful. It's in the Santa Monica Mountains. I mean, you see the houses of Malibu here. And what's really cool is there's a labyrinth right behind me that visitors made, I guess, to get people to linger even longer. I mean, it's a cool spot. You get gorgeous views of the Pacific Coast. You can't beat it. It is a very steep hike. I'm gonna have to hike all the way back up here. I think it said the elevation change was about 900 feet. So it's pretty steep, but hey, I'm gonna linger here a little bit, do the little labyrinth, maybe a little drone flight and uh, head back. Despite being relatively unknown, the park offers some of the grandest ocean views to be found anywhere in the Santa Monica Mountains. It is located about 15 miles away from Santa Monica, making it a perfect hiking destination for both locals and visitors alike.
Tuna Canyon Park. All done. I am pretty tired. I wish I had brought more water, but hey, I'll know next time. But uh, yeah, now I'm gonna head back down the coast and visit El Matador Beach. Even though I've only spent about two days here in California, exploring all along the Pacific Coast was certainly the highlight of my trip so far. Well guys, that was most definitely the craziest stretch of road that I've ever driven on. I mean, most dangerous, funnest probably too, but yeah, that was, that was insane. I'm back on the Pacific Coast Highway, got probably about 15 miles till I hit my uh, next destination. And uh, yeah, super fun, super packed, action packed day to day. I'm enjoying it. Check this out. Man, oh man, this is amazing. Shout out to Jennifer, the server I had at last night's restaurant, who recommended I visit this place. Although El Matador Beach can get quite crowded, the oceanside views are stunning and are worth the trip. You know, it's super beautiful here. It really reminds me of Torrey Pines in San Diego uh, when I was there a couple years ago. Just the way the cliffs are, these weird like rock formations. Oh man, okay. Yeah, super nice. I love it. Anywhere near the coast is fine by me. little cave here. Oh. Yeah, it seems like this is a very popular location for photos. I can imagine that when the tide comes in, this is all uh, covered in water. So I just stopped along the Pacific Coast Highway because there's this huge sand dune and I kind of want to climb it and get some beautiful views. I mean, this drive has just been terrific. I love this. I've been trying to do this my entire life, so this is uh, this is now the time to do it. My legs are going to be killing me after today. This massive sand dune was created as a result of the strong offshore winds off the Pacific coast. Climbing up it was the perfect way to end the evening. Cool experience, beautiful drone shots. I mean, everything here is just so stunning. Right beyond these hills is Point Muru or Point Muru State Park. I think I'm just gonna turn around here and head back along the Pacific Coast towards Malibu, find a, find a nice little spot to eat. Well, I think I'm gonna end the video right here. This is a super fun adventure. I am glad I had to experience it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, it really does help my channel. I have a couple more days worth of videos here in California, so stay tuned for those. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Cheers.